Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Professor Layton and Curious Village. Uh, last time we kind of just messed around in a restaurant for the most part, like we cornered this cat finally, but I left it to today to actually interact with her, so let's go ahead and do that now. Professor, there she is. Quickly then, use the fish bones. Hey Claudia, come here girl. Meow? <laughs> There you go, that's better than me trying to meow. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. Meow. It's that easy, huh? Okay, sure. I Yeah, mystery solved right there. Get fish, I guess. Having, having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating St. Mister? I mean, I am. I don't like that you're talking to me directly, though. Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. Granny Riddleton? Yeah. But there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. You visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work toward completing every puzzle in the game. Uh, which is something we are going to be doing, for the record. I like that establishing shot to outside. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Oh, jeez. Matthews, what's happening to your eyes, Matthew? That whole animation is kind of disturbing. Professor, oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh well, Madame will be very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. Just hurry upstairs, right this way, please. Is this an animatic? Oh, it's Chelmy. I remember Chelmy. So you're the prof famous Professor Layton, then. The name's Chelmy, Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. How'd you get into the town? Oh, right. I, I, I know how I got into the town. Never mind. Well, it's hard to call it a case. So this is about Claudia. We brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama missed you so much. Meow. It's a cute cat, to be fair. What's this cat doing here? Why aren't you bringing an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. You were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of the Cedrus, one Simon Reinhold. Simon was... That's the glasses guy, yeah. Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. How do you know it's a murder, though? People just collapse? Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see. And the cause of death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton, I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. I mean, how do you know you didn't just have a stroke at this point? The rest of the details concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hmm? Ask him how he got in, I want to know how he'd explain that. Alright everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. Let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Well... Okay, we can talk to people now, I guess. Hey, Matthew. Matthew, do you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chelmy showed up. And where is Simon's body now? 
I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. It looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Uh, but you know, I found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the gear. What is this? I'm sorry to say, I have no idea. But I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing. It's a cog so small that one could search the room and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. What's the difference between a cog and a gear? Like, I, that just looks like a normal gear to me. A small cog. Now that you mentioned I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits the description. Not really the time, Matthew. What? Are you joking? A puzzle at a time like this. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, alright, we're just getting into it. No justification. Find the dot. 30 pick rats. Perfect. You're holding an 8 pointed shape with a red dot on it. If you hold the shape so that the red diagram is in the position shown it in diagram A, then flip it over. You'll see a black dot as depicted below. Now, assume that you are holding a shape as shown on the left side diagram B. Where will the black dot be when you flip the shape over? Draw a circle around where you think the black dot should go. So you're flipping it over, so in this one it starts out here, right? So, which means in this one it's going to start out here, which means it should end up here, right? I, I think that's, it's just another like visualization puzzle, because like, I think the idea is you're naively going to assume that it's like two over from... Uh, where the red dot is, but that's not actually how it works, right? When it's off. That should do it. Okay, yeah, good. Every puzzle has an answer. Seven twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they just draw it out too. My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything about A your investigation. Okay, we're just not gonna acknowledge that that happened. Sure thing. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. Is it, Leighton? But I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you're a good man, Professor. I'm confident you will put the whole of this puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Oh, another gizmo, I guess. Sure. They're really in on that. Let's talk to, uh... Gordon, too. I guess Matthew is event trigger, so we could, like, get that gear added to our mysteries and that. Imagine. A murder in this very house. Brings a chill to my spine, it does. You're a detective, are you not? Do you and find the monster that did this? My good sir, I am no detective. But I agree that your concerns are certainly warranted. No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars. Sentiments exactly. I just don't understand. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't the type to be hated. If the criminal was after my brother's fortune, I could very well be this fiend's next target. You have a point. If we are the motive to stealing the Reinhold fortune, there are a few potential suspects. How would killing Simon help with that? That doesn't make any sense, because, like... Anyways, good gracious, you don't think I do something like this now. Simon and I got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close with Augustus, though. Now all this talk of families has been contemplating a puzzle I once heard. Yeah, like I said, I do remember the what's at, I do remember the story, so I'm just gonna try to like hint at what's going on and not like answer it directly. <clears throat> Six brothers have gathered around a table to eat dinner. Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with siblings directly above and below in age. Can't be seated next to either of them. Also, brothers three and five got into an argument the other day and refused to sit next to each other. The eldest brother, brother one, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting on the others to start eating. Can you find a seating arrangement that will keep everyone from fighting with each other? 
Okay, so where do we place two first off? This is... You can't be placed next to one. Like this. And it's and it's symmetric, right? So... There's only two possibilities for the second brother. Let's actually, let's do this one first, because that'll make it easier. So then number three obviously can't be next to two. By symmetry, that forces uh, that. Four can't be next to three, so four has to be on this side. And five would also have to be on this side, right? Because five can't be next to three. So two can't be here, so two has to be here. Okay, well... So three now has two possible spots. Uh, this one is this one's the no. Let's keep it simple. We'll do this one first. So four and five can't sit next to three. Four can't. Yeah. So it have to be six here, which would have to be four here, which would have to be five here. Is that it? One, three, six, four, two, five. One. No one's next to like an adjacent brother, and three and five aren't next to each other. I think that's it, right? should do it. It's another one where you just kind of have to work your way through the possibilities until you an get it reduced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Oh yeah, so that's the answer. Thank you for clearing out that puzzle, but we're still not closer to finding Simon's killer. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it, so please go out and find the real murderer. How do you know it's a murder? Like, we haven't established that either. Of course. I understand your position. It appears I am a suspect, too. I'll find out what I can. It's interesting how they, like, pre-place, uh, one in that puzzle, because, like, it's... Uh, strictly not necessary, although I guess that probably does make it, like, simpler. There's fewer valid winning arrangements. Makes the programming easier, I guess? If there's anything I can do to aid your investigation, please don't hesitate to ask, sir. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, um... And Shelmy is obviously the trigger for the next defense, so we'll avoid talking to him for right now. I think we'll call it a video pretty soon. Poor Simon, murdered right here. I'm absolutely terrified. Bring this criminal to justice, I beg you. Alright, now I do have stuff to do in my trunk. We've got some journal entries to read, as in one. It was a long struggle that cost Luke some scratches to his face and perhaps his pride, but we finally managed to catch Claudia. I think it I think now it would be appropriate to make our way back to the mansion and inform Lady Dahlia of our success. Alright. Mysteries. Tiny cogs, yeah. A small cog with an intricately carved insignia was recovered from the scene of, the, of Simon's murder. Perhaps the murderer dropped it when fleeing the scene. Mm, got gizmos as well. Got more legs. I don't know what that's gonna. Be. Is that just like part of its body? It's weird how that's part of the thing. Yeah, you can't recall them either. Not that you would ever need to, but. That's funny. Alright. Well, we're progressing. I should look up how many puzzles are in this game, too. Just so, like, I know how exactly far we are along. But, yeah, alright. And that's about an episode's length. So, we will call it here. And, as always, thank you for watching.